Okay, so the question is, if there was a big earthquake and it collapsed dams in the South Waikato area, would a tsunami go down the Waikato River and wipe out Hamilton? Thanks for this question. So first of all, dams in New Zealand are designed for certain seismic safety standards. So they are engineered to withstand certain amounts of ground shaking. Uh, now the good news is, is that the South Waikato area is a relatively low seismicity area of New Zealand. So um, there are very few active faults in that area and the likelihood of very high intensity shaking is, is quite low. And the other thing is, is that about every 10 years or so, this information on seismic hazard is reviewed and incorporated into dam safety assessment. So they're continually using new knowledge about seismic safety um, to monitor those dams. Uh, I guess in the very unlikely circumstance that a dam did collapse in the South Waikato area, um, the lake levels and the river levels are very well monitored. So you would be able to see these changes quite quickly and hopefully have time to evacuate downstream if there was a large pulse of water coming down. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was that if you are near a, one of these large reservoirs or lakes during an, a a big earthquake, a long or strong earthquake, it's still a good idea to just evacuate that area and get away from the water anyway. Um, this is because large earthquakes can trigger seiches, which slosh the water back and forth, sometimes for hours after an earthquake. And large earthquakes can also trigger landslides into the lake, and a landslide going suddenly into a lake can trigger a tsunami there as well. All right, hope that helps. 